And even without all that, they still have the actual mechanical execution to back it all up. Have to wait but this time all... around, mm -hmm. I was going to say that this time we have a, a real Roshan fight. There's actually something to play for here. Yeah, they're still waiting around the Twin Gate. They don't want to be caught in the pit like before. But, uh, one nice thing for Azur is uh, they just have so many ways of scouting without using their heroes. You can scout mm. with the Hawks, you can scout with the Illusions. Which is why that last fight was so surprising to me. Boboka gets hexed. Charged okay, in. Okay, Boboka, there will be a big jump in from Lou as he's activating his blink dagger. Goes in. Huge blue hole from Sumail. The oh, 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 damage. Oh, oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh, oh, the, oh, 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 oh poetry in motion, is it? Oh. Sumail throwing off this Aghanim Scepter in that fight. Getting four heroes in that zip. That, that, that's the game-winning moment, honestly. Bring that back, we need to see it again. That's, yeah. Makes, yeah, you can try and go, yeah, this is, uh... There's an Agonist, by the way, still in the pit. Who knows better?